here we are going to explore r and r minus 1's complement so without wasting time let's get started so here first of all let's see what is the r's complement and what is r minus 1's complement basically r's complement method is used to represent negative integers it is achieved by flipping all the bits in a number and then adding one to the least significant bit meanwhile r minus 1's complement is another method to represent negative integer number it is achieved by flipping all the bits but does not include the addition of one in the least significant bit so these were the examples with the binary numbers now here we have seen what is r's complement and what is r minus 1's complement but do you know why these complements are important actually why do we need to learn these complements so now let's understand the importance of these complements first of all it is useful in simplifying the subtraction operation r's complement simplifies the operation by allowing the use of addition operation subtracting a number a from another number b is equivalent to adding b and the r's complement of a this simplification reduces the hardware complexity in digital circuit as subtraction can be performed using the same addition logic the r minus 1's complement is less common due to its dual zero representation and complexities it is also facilitates the subtraction by enabling the use of addition operation however its implementation might include ambiguities and complexities in arithmetic operation the next is it is useful in representing negative numbers the two's complement is commonly used to represent the negative number in digital electronics and as complement method is used to find the two's complement the another use of this complement is it is useful in data integrity complements play a role in error detection and error correction techniques like checksums and cyclic redundancy check these techniques use the properties of complements to detect the errors in transmitted data by performing the mathematical operations on the data and checking for consistency it is also useful in optimization in circuit design understanding complements especially in subtraction and in addition operations allows for circuit optimization by utilizing complements based operations logic circuits can be simplified leading to more efficient hardware implementation which reduces chip area and potential lower power consumption and that is what we want in this small digital circuits so that is how this complements plays useful role in digital circuits in electronic systems now before moving ahead can you tell me any one use of r's or r minus 1's complement quickly write your answer in comments and yeah commenting would be useful for you as well as for me so just do it now and then we'll move ahead here we have seen why complements matters or the importance of complements but with this there are few limitations of both these complements and now let's see that additional steps for negative numbers to represent negative number using r's complement you need to perform an additional step of adding one after inverting all the bits this extra operation can add complexity and overhead particularly in certain arithmetic operations dual zero representation in r minus 1's complement suffers from the existence of both plus zero and minus zero representation this dual zero representation introduces complexity and inconsistency in arithmetic operations leading to potential errors and challenges in calculations complexity in arithmetic operations due to the presence of both positive and negative zero representation performing arithmetic operations using r minus 1 complements can be complex this complexity arises in subtraction where the existence of both plus 0 and minus 0 creates ambiguities making calculation prone to errors and inconsistency but with these limitations also there are practical use of these complements so now we are going to explore what are the practical real life use of these complements as complement finds practical applications in digital systems especially in computer architectures it simplifies arithmetic operations by enabling the use of same binary addition operation for both 
positive and negative numbers. This simplification allows for efficient hardware implementation of addition and subtraction operation using only addition logic. R-1 complement has historically found some applications in older computer systems where its representation of negative number without adding 1 was employed. However, due to its limitations, its usage has diminished significantly over time. And after the practical use of these complements, now we will see different types of complements. Basically, these complements are categorized in two types. The first type is R's complement. The full name of R's complement is Radix complement. The another type is R-1's complement. And the real name of this complement is diminished radix complement. Now if we we'll take example of decimal number system then what is the radix of decimal number system? The radix r is equal to 10. So the r's complement of decimal number system is basically 10's complement. And what is the r minus 1's complement? r minus 1 means 10 minus 1 that is 9. So r minus 1's complement of decimal number system is 9's complement. So whenever we discussed about 10's complement or 9's complement that means it's clear that we are talking about decimal number system. The next is binary number system. What is the radix of binary? That is 2. So R's complement for binary number is 2's complement and R minus 1's complement for binary number is 1's complement. So 2's complement and 1's complement is there for binary numbers. If we talk about octal number then radix of octal is 8 so we will get 8's complement and r minus 1 is 7's complement. Like this if we talk about hexadecimal number system then the radix of hexadecimal number system is 16 so r's complement of this number system is 16's complement and r minus 1's complement is 16 minus 1 15 and what do we call 15 in hexadecimal that is f so we will call it f's complement. So like this if you pick any random number system, let's say a number system with base 38. So if the base of that number system is 38, the radix is 38. So R's complement of this number system is 38's complement and R minus 1's complement is 37's complement. So that's how you can get R and R minus 1's complement of any number system. Now the use of R's complement and R minus 1's complement has reduced in practical system due to their limitations. But 2's complement representation has largely replaced this method in modern computer system due to its simplicity, single representation for zero and avoidance of dual zero representation issues. So in next video we are going to learn how to find 2's complement and 1's complement of binary numbers. And yeah, if you have found this video useful till now, then do not forget to hit the like button and commenting in this video. So see you into the next video of 1's and 2's complement.